So my job here on YouTube is to explain what I do and why I do it. I'm not 100% right all the time, believe it or not. I'm not a perfect trader, right? I make mistakes literally all the time. That was a joke, obviously. Um, but the reason I'm making this video is I like to prepare in advance before something actually happens. Why would anyone want to take action when something has actually happened or try to make a plan then, right? Well, at that point, it's called panic selling, right? You're gonna make an impulsive decision based off of the position that you put yourself in. I want to explain to you in a very simple way why I'm looking out for SQQQ on the 15 minute time frame and why I think it's about to go up and the NASDAQ market is about to drop. So just hear me out. I hope that you learned something new. If you wanna share your opinion, I'll respect it. Share that down in the comment section and we can go back and forth, right? On the 15 minute time frame for the past three days, the NASDAQ market also TQQQ has been trading sideways. We have not been able to make new highs and we're still at that same support level of 53.50. Meaning that, and, and why is that of importance to me? Well, if we look at the past performance for TQQQ, it's previously bearish. It's coming from a two and a half month sell-off. The past seven days, seven to eight days, the market's been trying to rally. But for the past three days, and it's much easier to see on the 15 minute time frame, you can see that the market's been trading sideways. So let me ask you this, and you answer it, right? If the market's been selling off for two and a half months, and then out of nowhere, rightfully so, the market begins to recover for about seven to eight days. It's an amazing recovery, it really is. About 38 to 40% gain on TQQQ, right? So we gapped up a lot. And then for the last three days, we've been trading sideways. So we have a previous bear market for two and a half months. We rally for six to eight days. We trade sideways. What tends to happen when you begin to trade sideways after previously being bearish? Well, if we're not able to break above that resistance, right? If there's not enough buying pressure, then guess what? Obviously, we're gonna see a change of direction and most likely, resorting back to what we were previously doing and that's selling off that's my concern that's why i'm making this video not because oh my god i'm right all the time it's not about that i just don't want you to have to make an informed decision or try to at the moment that you begin to see oh shoot the market is pulling back so why not plan for it now because i know most people don't i know most people as they're just getting started all they plan for is to make money that's the easy part you know my little nephew can can make money by putting money in a stock and getting lucky. It's not the, and, and sell when it's overbought. There's nothing special about that. But it's when things go south that you really begin to challenge yourself as a trader. And I think that's best done in advance. It's not that the market has to sell off, but it's that when it begins to trade sideways, or when things become of concern, why not prep now? So what I'm looking for is, and I'll actually go on the IXIC, which is the actual NASDAQ index. It's a little bit easier to see in my opinion, I think. Uh, but as you guys can see for the past three days, we've had that same support level. We've not been able to make new highs. Now we're trading below the moving average and we're trading below the EMA. It would be amazing to see the NASDAQ begin to recover. But let's be honest, there's no positive news. And probably no positive factor that's actually going to cause that to happen. But as long as things get worse, don't get worse. That's really the biggest thing. As long as things don't get worse, then we should potentially see a, a, a potential push. But the reason I'm making this video is not if we receive a push, but it's if we actually break below 13,900 on the NASDAQ index. If we break below that, then again, we break below our support and we're headed right back down to the previous retracement. And on TQQQ and SQQQ, it's much easier to see. So if we go on the one hour time frame, I and mean, we have a nice little gap from where we previously began to recover, right? So looking at lows of $38.92 to overall highs of $56, look at that. That's 44% gain in a week. That's absolutely amazing. That's, that's great. It's great to see what can happen in a nice little bull run. But just like any opportunity, when the market rallies and if it begins to consolidate, then sometimes we do see a correction. My job here on YouTube is to look out for beginner traders, not just for the best case scenario, but in case things do go south, I want to remind you that it's best to prepare now and not at the time of when things might be too late, right? So I appreciate you guys' time. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. This is just the concept that we talked about uh, today in our live trading session. I'd love to have you join us for tomorrow's live trading session. If you've ever wanted to be able to watch me trade live, 
Again, I share my thought process, I answer your questions, and then you can see my entries and my exits depending on the trades that I take. That is that second link down below if you wanna learn a little bit more about the Learn Plan Profit Group and to see if it's a good fit for you. Friendly reminder, we did just do a full restock on the number one trading mouse pad, which is the extra, extra large trading mouse pad. It's absolutely huge, it takes my entire desk. So if you are looking for a desk pad, especially for your trading setup, head on over to shoptechbuds.com or click the fourth link down below. Use promo code HUSTLE and you'll actually get 15% off your first purchase. I appreciate you guys' time. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. And like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.